As you guys can see, we are getting more than 200 FPS while playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu on the Skyline Emulator. Let's get started. Yo, what's up guys, it's Aptrix here. Today, we'll be doing something different. We'll be setting up the Skyline Nintendo Switch Emulator on our Android devices in 2024. It hasn't been done before because I have yet to test out the Skyline Edge Emulator on my IQ12 with Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. I really wanted to try out Skyline Edge, but as you know, the project was unfortunately stopped in June 2023. So in just a few months, it's going to be a year since the Skyline Emulator project came to an halt. In today's video, we'll be setting it up, taking a look at its best settings and trying it out with the latest Mesa Turnip Adreno Driver Revision 18. So before starting, if you guys are new here, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications as I upload similar videos on my channel. Let's get started. To set up Skyline Emulator on your Android devices, we'll be using the latest Skyline Edge version 69, which is just the archive build of Skyline Emulator. As you know, Skyline used to be an completely open source Nintendo Switch Emulator for Android and you can read here that Skyline S version 69 was the last build of Skyline emulator. We are extremely thankful to everyone who ever used Skyline and stay tuned for us. Well it was a parting gift from the developers of Skyline emulator. But just take a look at it even its UI is so refreshing. I just like this emulator quite a lot. We have seen Skyline Infinity Edge which is the continuation of Skyline emulator and we'll also see the Strato emulator which will again be continuation of Skyline but I just miss the old days of Skyline emulator. It is still the best performing Nintendo Switch emulator for Android that hasn't changed no matter if Yuzu emulator, Suyo emulator or any other emulator gets major updates. The developers of Skyline worked really well in terms of providing the best performance possible. Anyways, let's start off by disabling docked mode. Afterwards, we'll scroll down, make sure to enable show performance statistics. Foldable screens were also supported and also I'll enable disable frame throttling option. Set the executor count scale to 6, flush threshold to around 535, direct memory import has been turned off, post maximum clocks free guest texture memory and fast readback and writes will be enabled. So as usual these are the best settings for Skyline emulator. If we just go ahead and scroll up we will be able to see the GPU driver configuration where I will be using the latest Mesa Turnip Adreno driver revision 18. So this wasn't even present or even revision 16, 17 weren't even present I think at the time of uh, the demise of Skyline emulator. Anyways uh, aspect ratio I forgot to change it so aspect ratio will set it device aspect ratio stretch to fit now one of the features of skyline emulator was the fact that you can just go ahead and hold uh, the image of any op game then you would be able to import or export the save files you would also get the option to uh, change game specific settings which is obviously now present in yuzu as well as other folks of skyline emulator anyways in terms of gameplay test lot of these games which i have on my device cannot be played for example assassin's creed doesn't work dragon ball uh, may not work demon slayer doesn't work fc24 doesn't work none of the fifa games work pokemon scarlet violet does work pokemon sword and shield also works including let's go pikachu legend of zelda breath of the wild manages to boot but it is not playable same goes with ww2k18 it works with uh, some graphical issues. Nonetheless, the best games to try out on Skyline Emulator are the games from Pokemon series. With that being said, we'll be testing out Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu because it is one of the best Pokemon games that you can try out on a Nintendo Switch Emulator for Android. And immediately just take a look at how fast this game actually loaded. We are getting more than 100 FPS at the top left corner just like that. And yeah guys, Skyline Emulator really was a peak emulator to be completely honest. Just take a look at this. The game has successfully started and we are getting more than 200 FPS. So not just amazing FPS, it was pretty stable uh, by standards. Unfortunately, it's not that stable uh, compared to Yuzu emulator or Suyu emulator or even Sudachi emulator. But at that time, Skyline was at the top of its league. And even once you exit the house, even in outside world scenarios, the FPS that you get are really amazing. Just take a look at this. We are getting more than 100 FPS even in outside world scenarios which is literally unbelievable because no emulator like Aegis doesn't give 100 plus FPS Suyu doesn't give 100 plus FPS no Nintendo Switch emulator for Android will ever give you 100 plus FPS while emulating Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu on Android except for the Skyline Nintendo Switch emulator Android and that's what I love about it and many of the Pokemon games were pretty stable there were very minimal graphical issues uh, but if you want the more stable version and updated version of Skyline 
Skyline emulator, then you can watch my video on the setup of Skyline Enhanced Infinity emulator. That emulator is also pretty stable compared to Skyline because it has Strato emulator codes and even Strato emulator which is going to be the forked version of Skyline emulator. We can expect it before June 2024. So that is something to look forward to. Cassia emulator's development is also going really well. So the developers of Skyline emulator have decided to build an Windows emulator for Android which is known as Cassia and they will be releasing it in 2024 itself. So a lot of emulators are there to look forward to. So I hope you guys hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification as I upload similar videos on my channel. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. Skyline emulator was hands down the best Nintendo Switch emulator for Android in its time. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye and peace out.